As a meteorologist here on Delmarva, the chance to go inside a Hurricane Hunter aircraft and meet the men and women who work to protect our coastline was quite the experience. These are the meteorologists on the front lines gathering all the information we need to make the best forecast possible. The National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida, receives this information from the hurricane hunters. All that information comes back to the hurricane center within minutes, helping us as a forecaster determine where the storm's located, how big the storm is, and how strong it is. It's a complete team effort with meteorologists all across the country. The National Hurricane Center often communicates with government offices and local television stations who forecast for Delmarva and the surrounding areas to help prepare our community. The Delmarva has all four of the hurricane threats here. So, I mean, we've got to be ready for the tidal flooding, especially those that are close to the tidal shores. We have to be ready for the rainfall, you know, tremendous rainfall that can come, come with this. And those two are usually the biggest, most threatening parts of the hurricane. Um, then we also have the winds if it's a close to being landfall hurricane and tornado threat as well. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration is expected to release its tropical forecast for the upcoming season at the end of May. A few things you can do before the season is be sure to determine if you're in a flood prone area, have a plan in case a storm hits, stock up on extra supplies, and be sure your home is protected. Although a major hurricane hasn't made landfall in the U.S. in over a decade, the possibility is always there. When you hear the season forecast, just know the season's fast approaching. It's a time to get your uh, preparations done to make sure you're ready for hurricane season. It only takes one storm to hit your area for it to be a bad year. Fortunately, there have been major advancements in forecasting over the years. And as long as Hurricane Hunter missions continue and research meteorologists work to add the newest, most updated equipment, we'll see even better forecasts issued for our area in the years to come.